Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to talk to you about an add-on called SAS Writing Revisor. So my friend JR, and here he is on Twitter, if you want to follow him or thank him, showed me this add-on and it kind of blew my mind. I think you could use this with your students. You could have your students edit their own essays this way before they turn them in. And you could also use this with your own writing if you want to check it out and make sure that everything is, you know, is good before you send it out. So first of all, here's how you get an add-on. I'm going to open up the Google Doc that I want to edit and you'll see that there is an option in the menu bar that says add-ons. From there you want to go down to get add-ons and then in the store you want to look for SAS. So I'll show you what that looks like so you'll recognize it when you see it and here it is SAS writing revisor now I can't imagine why the ratings are only three stars but I'm guessing that a lot of teachers out there are using it and their students maybe don't like all the errors that it finds in their papers but better for the writing revisor to find it than your teacher so seems like a great deal to me <laughs> You'll have to click allow on the SAS writing revisor before you see these options, but then you'll be able to go to add-ons and you'll be able to see it in the list like you do on my screen right here. So here's the tool and we're just going to click open writing revisor and it's going to appear on the right hand side of my screen in a new panel. All right, so you can see in Writing Revisor, we've got some different sections. Let's take a look at this first one, which is Sentence Economy. I want to take a look at uh, repeated words because I think that that's going to pop something up that's interesting for us to look at in this sample essay I've got over on the left-hand side. So you can see that in this essay, the word I is used 26 times and we can also click on that number and we can get all of those eyes highlighted and let's look and see all of our my's so I just clicked on the number that's to the right of my and now I see every time the student has used my highlighted so let me go back and let's look at sentence variety so let's look and see how many simple sentences we have so I just clicked on simple sentences and these are all of our simple sentences and it's going to give us some information about using simple sentences varying our sentence link length so let's go back and look at some more things let's take a look at our transitions so here they are all of our transitions are highlighted and it gives us a little bit of advice are your transitions effective do they help to guide the reader so let's go back one more time and take a look at our sentence power and see our weak and hidden verbs. So here we go, all of our B verbs that we may want to take a look at. But this maybe is my favorite thing that JR showed us. Take a look at this verb tense tool. I don't know whether this student's paper is going to pop this up. Um, but the paper that he showed us, oh and it did, the paper that he showed us really had a lot of great examples in it and this one does too. So you can see that this student is using past tense and then here is present tense. Well this is on purpose because it's inside the quotation marks. Um, but it could really help this student look at the verb tense and see when they're switching back and forth. So I think that kind of gives you an overall look at what this tool does, what it can do to help students with their writing. I hope you enjoy it and please follow my friend JR on Twitter and give him a shout out and thank him. And um, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel and I'll show you my channels too in case you want to subscribe to any of those. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.